Hello, good Wednesday morning, everyone. It's Tina with Rhapsody and Ribbons. How is everybody doing? If you're new to my channel, thank you for clicking on and watching this video, and I hope you will subscribe to my channel. To my current subscribers, hello. I love you all. I hope you're all doing well. So I've had some requests to do um, a cross, and um, that's what I'm going to do for you today. So we're going to just go ahead and get into this video. <clears throat> so first of all, I used a Dollar Tree frame. Okay, this is from the Dollar Tree. I did start it, and I'm using three rolls of the <clears throat> five and a half to six inch mesh. I think the yellow came from Hobby Lobby, and I think theirs is five and a half and then um these are from pardon me the dollar tree okay so what i want to show you is <clears throat> this is short rolls of white these have um 30 feet so when i started i'm putting three colors together so of course it's going to be yellow white and yellow okay so I'm just gathering poofs of about eight inches now I'm about to run out of white so I'm gonna have to cut this off I did it again I forgot to shut my volumes off okay alrighty so we're gonna go about eight inches once you've already made your poofs, you can pretty much follow it. So you want to take it down, come to your eight inches, and then just put it in. Now you can use zip ties or your Chanel stems. Okay. So you want to make this pretty full. And so I'm just tying that on. So now being that I'm out of white, I have to go in and cut this piece off. And I don't know if I have to cut my other ones. Yeah, I think I might have to. I don't know. I wonder if I can just get this in there without cutting it. Let's see if that'll work. Because this is your middle layer. Okay, so let me see if I can just scrunch that in there. Okay, I don't know. I might want to cut it just to make sure they're, you know, they're even as much as they can be. Yeah, quit sticking. Or am I going to be okay? So let me go eight inches here. Let me go to eight. And I'm going to put this one on with a zip tie. Just for the fact that I started a new roll. So you can just wrap them between the center bars. And then pull it really snug. That way you know that's not going to go anywhere. Okay. So you got to have some space to keep rolling out your mesh. Okay. So let me get to about eight inches. And we're going to go in here. And this time... I'll just use a Chanel stem. So whatever you have, Chanel stem, zip ties. I like zip ties because they, it, it really stays secure. And I'm just praying that I have enough of yellow to finish this. <laughs> 30 feet, I mean, okay. And you wanna keep your layers as even as you can. Okay. 
because we're going to be pulling this apart when we get finished. I'm not liking the way this white one is laying in here, so I might just cut it. I don't know. Let's grab about eight inches and push that in there. And I'm just going to use the Chanel stem. Can you guys all see what I'm doing? How's everybody doing through this pandemic? I mean, is anybody else going stir crazy being in the house? Today is supposed to go to almost 70 here. So I'm definitely going to get myself outside. Um, and we got 23 maple trees. I have lots of sticks I can pick up. I need some exercise. Okay. And just like I said, keep your poofs about eight inches. They don't have to be exact. But you don't want them, you know, too off either. And just keep rolling this out. You guys can use any color you wanted. I had these uh, rolls of yellow and I'm like, what am I going to do with these? So, just push it down. Keep pushing it down so you don't have a skimpy wreath here. And then we're going to have to cut this off to do the sides. Tried to get my little Valentino in here. He wasn't having it. <laughs> he come in and he went back to the door. I don't. I just. You know, if if you were stuck in here, would you think you would bark? Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, see, dogs don't forget anything. They really don't. They just do not. They have good memories. I'll tell you. Bless their heart. So Easter is just going to be hubby and me. Um, we're not socializing. We're not having anybody over, not even the kids. And that's what we have to do. Uh, it's just what we have to do here. Michigan is now second with the most cases. We have over 13 cases and we've had over 900 deaths. Most in the Detroit area. But, so sad. Okay, so let's see if this one more on the top and then we'll go to the sides which shouldn't take very long okay so I'm going to yeah, get down there oh boy it's gonna be close with this yellow guys ah. Last one, I'm going to zip tie it. That way I don't have to worry about it coming apart at the top. Okay. So 
now we did the whole length of the cross. I'm just trying to think what I can do if I run out. I'm going to cut this off. Cut it off. There we go. If I run out, I'm trying to think how else I can fill these sides in. I mean, I could probably... How much white do I have? I'm wondering if I should do two white and one yellow. What do you guys think? Or should I try to... Well, let's see what happens. There's not much left. Uh, I have a feeling one side is going to come up short. Uh, didn't figure on that. I really did not. All right. So, let's lay out your yellow. Yeah, I am not going to have enough, guys. So, I need to figure out something. Put the white. And Hobby Lobby, we all know, is closed. Oh, I'll be mad if I can't finish this. I don't know. It's going to be it's going to be so so close. Or should I just do them in white? Sorry, guys, I'm thinking. I wonder if I just want to do... I might have enough if I do white, yellow, and white. Let's do that because I think I have enough of the white. White, yellow, and white. Hey, what are you doing here? All righty. Let's see what happens. So you, what you're going to do is you're just going to, that's a little sloppy, so I'm just going to cut that off. We don't need all that. Okay, so you're just going to grab your ends, and I'm going to use a cable tie, and I'm going to go in and fasten this down with a cable tie to as far as I can get it in there. Okay, so push. Push. Okay. Okay, so now we want to go back to eight inches. pattern the same so this time the white is going to be on the outside not the yellow like I said your hardest thing with this is keeping these you know if you can if you have a surface a hardwood floor or whatever you can sit in the floor and do that as well okay <laughs> all right right Yeah, I think I need 
just one more after this one. I should make it nice and full. Oh, gosh. This is so close, guys. This is too close for comfort. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm going to have to do another one. One more. Push you in there, and I'm going to use a zip tie. All right, now we can get this off. off. Where are we at with time? Okay. All right. So now we're going to do the same thing. We are going to do white. yellow and white okay so you just want to grab this at the top guys see and just scrunch it together you don't need that excess mess just cut it off get a zip tie again if you don't have zip ties you can use your chanel stems in there as far in as I can push it. Okay, here we go. use a Chanel stem. Two more. I'm going to make it, guys. Yay. That scared me. <laughs> that really scared me. Okay, so you always want to push these up afterwards, okay? Because you want that seal. Oops. Come on. It helps if you bend your um, Chanel stems into V's so you don't have to fight with it. Okay. And last one, I believe. I will do that one again because it's the last one. Keep it tight with a zip tie. Alrighty, let's cut this off. The 
this is what I had left. Not very much. <laughs> okay, and we're going to cut these off. Get that out of here. Move those over there. Okay. So here is your cross. So now what you're going to do... Okay, so remember in the middle, we did two yellow and a white. So we're going to pull this apart. So I want a yellow over here and a yellow over here and the white in the middle. And you're going to do that the whole way. Okay, you want to just pull your yellows out, white stays in the center, okay? Yellow. Yellow. And white. Let's pull it apart. In a minute, you'll see. Okay. How uniform it's going to look. Really, really pretty. Okay. Guys, you don't have to stand here and watch this whole thing. You can just go ahead and um, um, forward through it. two yellows out and then your center right yellows okay It's really, this is really simple, guys. It's just a little time consuming when you have to start going in and pulling your yellows out. So, other than that, and then dealing with your um, mesh staying together, okay? Keeping those rolls. Just as long as you have some space to do that, you won't have any problem. at the top already. Pulling my yellow out. Now that yellow. I don't know about you guys, but man, I need a haircut and I need to do color. And I do my own hair, except I don't have any blonde highlights. So if I do my roots, it's going to cover up my highlights. And I'm not going to cut it until I do my color. 
So I'm sorry if I look terrible. <laughs> look like a shaggy pooch. I guess that would be a compliment to me. I love dogs. So I'm a shaggy dog. Almost, almost, guys. We're almost done. Well, guys, you can do this all in one color, or you can use three of the same color. Whatever you want. This is your, your thing. you there sorry guys okay so let me just do these sides real quick so now I have to pull out the two white let me turn you back over so it's two white and yellow two white and yellow two white <coughs> And yellow and white and yellow oh this is really pretty pull out your two white I just think that looks so pretty with the two colors. So I'm going to add a bow in the middle and I know I have some yellow and white flowers. I did not make a bow because I think I want to put a white and yellow bow on here. So I don't have the, excuse me. this bow but I really I guess I have some pre-made bows guys I don't know if I'm gonna like this bow on there I like the yellow I like the yellow just the sparkly yellow but I don't like this polka dots So these are, was just in my stash of bows that I've already had made. They're all smashed and crinkled. <laughs> you just gotta fluff them up, they'll be fine. I don't know. I'm just not feeling with this bow. Let's just push it down. Let me grab it. What do you guys think of this bow? I I didn't do a good job pushing it down. I'm not liking it at all. So, 
I will finish working on that later on and then I will come back when I do the next video and I'll show you what it looks completed. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, took your minds off our uh, troubles for right now. Keep saying those prayers, stay indoors unless you absolutely have to go out, um, keeping you all in my thoughts and prayers. Um, so everybody, please have a wonderful Easter if I don't see you before Sunday. And unfortunately, <clears throat> no family here and I'm sure that's gonna be the case with the rest of you but you know what maybe when this passes we can have Easter then you know who knows so with that guys I'm gonna get off of here and take care and God bless I love you all till the next DIY ciao